Okay, the first stock we're looking at for 2015 is Hess Corporation. Hess is a global exploration and production company selling crude oil and natural gas. In 2013, they really started focusing more on the production and exploration rather than the marketing and refining business that they started to divest in that year. They have operations in US, Europe, Africa, Asia. Uh, like all of the other major oil producers, they're highly dependent on the volatile market prices for crude oil and natural gas. As we know, the oil prices went down dramatically about 40% or so last year. So um, with that, we've seen the, the energy sector as a whole come down and, and maybe offering some interesting price levels for some of these stocks. So here, um, let's just start off by mentioning a few of the projects that they're involved in. Uh, Hess is one of the two largest oil and gas producers of the Bakken Shale in North Dakota. Uh, they've got projects in Gulf of Mexico, Valhall in Norway, the North Malay Basin Project in Malaysia, and Utica Shale in Ohio, just to mention a few. Um, here we're looking at some basic metrics, The just the quote from last Friday, $74.14, the current yield 1.35%. They're actually trading under book value currently, 0 0.91. The 52-week range, we see uh, they're well below the high of 104. Um, the three-year price to earnings multiple, 9.97, but again, this drop in um, oil prices is, is definitely going to lower their earnings for all of the oil producers next year, uh, this year, 2015. The return on equity for the last year, 10.62. Um, the price to cash flow number is, is pretty attractive currently, 3.82. Uh, here we just see the EPS for several of the last years, but again, uh, 2014 and 2015 will probably come in, um, we'll probably see a significant drop in earnings uh, due to the reduced oil prices. Uh, one negative for Hess compared to maybe some of the more stable oil companies like Exxon, um, because of all the projects they're undertaking, the we see here the cash flow from operations for 2013 and 2012 compared to the capital expenditures uh, for the company. So we see they're actually spending more than the cash that was generated from operations. So uh, that's something uh, you wouldn't see if you looked at the uh, similar numbers for Exxon. Um, just looking at some uh, graphs here, we see that the oil price, we're looking at the General Oil ETF USO compared to Hess. Uh, oil has gone down by about 41% while Hess stock has gone down by about 8% in the last year. Um, next, here we're looking at the uh, S&P 500 in, in the blue color here, which went up about 12% last year. While Hess stock uh, really started to decline around October here, uh, just as the general energy ETF, uh, we can see they both ended the year about negative 8%. Um, of course, Hess was highly correlated to the uh, energy ETF, except here we see there was a significant divergence. Um, finally, another stock you may consider if you're looking at energy companies, which they've all pretty much fallen together with the drop in oil prices, is Exxon. Um, this is just looking at the last five years, which again, it, I'm not trying to derive anything by looking at this graph because if you look at a different time period, you'll see a much different result. So Exxon um, outperformed Hess over the last five years, we see, but if you were to look at the 10-year time period, for example, you would see that um, Hess actually outperformed um, over 10 years while Exxon outperformed over this five-year time period that we're looking at. Um, so going into 2015, if you want to uh, look at some oil companies that have dropped recently, um, it may be interesting to enter Hess. Um, but it, again, the um, 
energy companies will experience reduced earnings, so it's unclear that the uh, they won't drop more. But that sums it up for this edition. Uh, remember to check the website seen here for the next post. Thanks. Bye.